I'll tell you where it goes. It goes to building the Policing database. Policing or fire. Hey, if you got a fire in your house, you got water. Well, we need more jails, right? Out. General, uh, you're crime, a military you take leader, care right? Of it yourself. Now, you're fighting the war on drugs, correct? The war on drugs, right? Do, do your troops fear the bandwagon on this unreasonable search and seizure? And do your troops drug test to uphold the rights of privacy and the Fifth Amendment? It's, it's entirely, we're against the First Amendment, though, but that, that's a different show right there. Yeah. The Fifth Amendment is, is everybody's right to do whatever they want, speak what they think. And say what it's, they say without incriminating themselves. Without incriminating, yeah, true. And they do. Everybody does not know this law. This but is they America, incriminate the themselves. land of the free. Police will grab you and say, make, make you sign a confession, and then you don't realize you just waived your rights as a citizen of the United States. Without right. the Fifth Amendment, without the, first, without the Constitution, you would be sitting in the Russian gulag. We all would. Uh, Russia's not like that anymore, according to my plan. It's They're very American. Actually, your country has now made <laughs> past laws that will allow their government, your government, to now monitor and record all of your purchases, your payroll, your bank deposits, your withdrawals. They will be able to monitor everything. If your income and lifestyle exceeds your income, then you must be coming up with money somewhere else. As True. in drug dealing. I they are don't illegal. need to listen to this red commie this is bastard <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Sit down! And like this, it. Do not lose your the composure, Mr. Spoken. Springer. Well, we are professionals here. He does, you do make I'm an American. <laughs> and we must, I'm not. we must continue to move on. Now, I would also <laughs> like to bring up former president, uh, Cicero Town President, and our bad American of the month, Betty Lauren Maltese. Now, she just went to court, U.S. District Court, court in Chicago, Bitch. on a single Oop. tax account. She allegedly raped, pillaged, and plundered the town of Cicero over more than $12 million and could face up to 20 years in prison. Now, it might be a lush prison because we know these federal government agencies take care of their own people. Now, if they throw us in prison, we're going to look at four walls in a cell and hopefully get out one hmm. hour out of the 23 hours that we're going to be sitting there. I've got a framed 8x10 picture of Laura, uh, Betty, Betty Maltese. Now, you live in Berwyn, right, yeah, General? Dark right. And Cicero is your neighbor in town. <laughs> How does this affect you? And uh, have you recently had your car towed? She's everywhere. She's all over the place. Her Gestapo, or she had bodyguards everywhere, guarding her everywhere she went because there was a lot of people after her. So, I mean, she, and everybody's got, like, little pictures of her and little businesses all over the place because she's famous, and everybody knows that. She, she's the one who took all their money and she brought it to another state and just had ran with it. Cicero, it, it's, it's not too good of a town, really. Well, I they cleaned up Cicero a lot. Yeah. Murray they have a lot of X-rated uh, right, clubs right, and that, little yeah. dance stuff. I spent stuff. a lot of time hey, over hey, there. Hey, well, come uh, on. That was, that was back show. in the 80s, so I don't yeah. know what's happening. Corrupt right politics. Now, Margo, uh, do you believe that Betty Lauren Maltese fixed the election with her mob ties to split the <laughs> vote between <laughs> the Spanish and the Italian communities? Yes. Oh, of course she did. She is uh, president of all these different clubs that represented those nationalities. So of course, you know, it she had them in her pocket. It didn't matter if you voted for her or not. Didn't she matter if you voted for her or not, right? Exactly. <laughs> there were, this was the only way to get her out of the office. So kind of like a pres presidential election, you know. I mean, you think she would be able to way, fix on how a presidential votes. election also? Well, but Florida didn't vote in this election. This was just in the town of Cicero. You know that if she could have, yeah, that would have been fixed too in Florida. But, you know, of course, we have the Bushes, and, you know, they fixed that election. Well, I think so all Warren elections didn't have to, you know, get involved there. But Cicero, yeah, that's a, that's a great subject to speak about. Corruption, the mob, <laughs> corruption, Cicero. Corruption. Sure. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a great subject to speak Rob about. But, you know, I'm not going to speak about planet. it. I don't want to get off. Well, you don't want to, yeah, <laughs> and the less we know about the mob, the better, because right. if, yep. they, if they yep. hear that we're talking about them, they're going to come knocking on our doors. That's saying, what I'm saying. Hey, Everybody what are you guys doing right talking with. about us? We didn't do nothing to you, and then they will do something to us, so we won't talk about the mob no That's more. That's why we need a general of peace, General Patton. And 